Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys if you're coming across an issue on your Lenovo computer versus the BIOS in the system is not ACPI compliant. So if you come across a blue screen or something along those lines, this tutorial will show you guys how to hopefully address it without too much of a hassle. So we're going to go ahead and jump into it. So what you first want to do is power down your system. So you want to, as you're booting up, enter into the boot menu. On a specific Lenovo model that I believe this error pertains to, that would be the FN as well as the F12 key on your keyboard at the same time. So you hold both of them down. So again, the FN and the F12. If you're on a different version of Lenovo or you got a different computer altogether, could be the escape key, F2 key, F12 key. It really depends on the manufacturer. But for this specific computer that we're having the problem with, I looked it up, it should be the FN and the F12 key. And once you're on a menu that appears somewhat like this, you want to go select the BIOS setup option. I'm going to select the Enter setup on my computer, but it should be pretty similar on your end as well. So it might look a little different, but you want to enter into the setup options. Using your arrow keys on your keyboard, you want to scroll over to the Exit tab, so all the way on the far right. And you want to now use your up and down arrow keys, so go down to Load Default Settings or Load Setup Defaults. In my case, again, nomenclature might be a little bit different, but it's the same thing virtually. You want to hit enter over that selection and it's going to ask do you want to load the default configuration now or load optimal default as it might be called on your system. You want to make sure the yes is selected and then hit enter on your keyboard. And then once you're done with that, hit the F10 key or whatever key on the bottom of the BIOS that says save and exit. So it's F10 in my case here as you can see on my screen. And I'm going to hit enter over the yes selection to save configuration changes and exit now. So the system should restart, go ahead and boot into Windows and hopefully the blue screen message should be gone. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.